Hello everyone, Boone here. Happy Halloween. Welcome back to Boone Builds. It is 11.15 in my time zone, so I figured this is my last chance to tell everyone happy Halloween, hang out with you for a little bit. Allison Gale is here, JKIRL is here, you, uh, you Spoonie Board One, hey, how you doing? We've got Brickman Mosaic Art, Rod Rodrigo Lopez. Lopez is here. Ah, uh, happy Halloween, everybody. How are you doing? What did you do? What did you do for Halloween? Did you do anything special? My, I had all these plans. I had all kinds of plans, but my web browser is taking forever to load anything. Melissa is here. Hi, Melissa. Melissa actually went uh, as Boone for Halloween. Uh, so I hope that if you are connected with L Melissa on the interwebs, maybe you got a chance to see Melissa's wonderful Boone costume. Uh, <laughs> April Lauer says, Hey, Mr. Sewer. I don't even know what that means. Um, I hung out with my family and watched horror movies. JC Maddock says, that sounds awesome. Christian says, I dressed up and passed out candy. You can see how long it's taking uh, StreamYard to load people's avatars there. I don't know what's going on with my web browser. I was going to show you guys some pictures. I was going to play my intro. I was going to do all the things. And it, my web browser's not doing anything. But that's all right. I didn't want to miss out on one last chance to tell everyone happy Halloween and to just hang out for a little bit. Uh, James says, hi, Boone. Uh, I had a Halloween party. That's awesome. Marlisa is here. Holy smokes. Marlisa says, hi, Boone. Also, John and Stephanie Ellison say hi, too. I imagine you must be hanging out with them right now. Uh, Melissa says, it was such an honor to be you for Halloween. Thank you, Melissa. Uh, I think that you and maybe one other person were Boone for Halloween. It's such an incredible honor to be uh, a Halloween costume. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, poke a poke shining sticker shiny hunter says I didn't get any candy. Wah, wah. I'm sorry you didn't get any candy. I had let's see, I had two pieces of candy. I had a Reese's pieces and uh, the little two pack of what are those starbursts? Little two pack of starburst. Uh, Cash Hype says hi, Boone. Rodrigo says. Boom! Cool. Hey, I like Rodrigo's avatar. We got some Lego Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man in there and the Ghostbuster minifigs. Melissa does say, I got a lot of candy. Christian is asking, do you know anything about Season 2 of Lego Masters? I, I, I do not know anything official. I, I know that it seems to be happening. Um, if anyone is watching and is interested in being cast or being considered for casting of Lego Masters Season 2, I think you should probably get in touch with a casting agent, go submit that online application, and see what you can do. Because uh, it, it seems to me, I've heard through the grapevine, again, this is nothing official I do not know anything officially, but I've heard through the grapevine that there may be some casting action going on. Allison Gale, yes, says, dun, dun, dun. Uh, I don't know anything about uh, my potential involvement in season two. I am not going back as a contestant for sure. I think that they are probably going to, you know, like many other reality shows, they're going to come up with a whole new cast for season two. Um, and uh, maybe someday there will be like a uh, uh, all-stars season. Molly Makes Stuff Up is here. Hey, Molly, thanks for joining. Candy, psh, tonight I was only focused on ordering the Sesame Street set. Oh, Oh boy, yeah, that looks like an awesome set. I really want to have the Sesame Street set at some point in the future. Uh, <laughs> that tickles. There, that's my best Elmo. Uh, I've got a couple other Sesame Street voices that maybe I will share some point in the future. Hey, we're having a party here. This is good. Jeff McElwee is here and just says, Evening. 
period. That almost sounds like you're leaving evening, period, out. No, I'm kidding. I hope you stick around. Hope you stick around. Rodrigo says 10274. That sounds to me like a Lego set. I'm going to just try it. Lego 10274. Ah, hey, uh, my internet is actually loading some stuff now. It uh, looks to me that that is um, maybe a new, a new Ecto-1 coming. Looks like it uh, maybe with some leaks about that. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know anything about that officially. Cash Hype says, I'm getting the Technic Bugatti Chiron. I had it and I built it. It was beautiful and lovely. Uh, here's an interesting story. I actually got to be, some of you may know this story. I actually got to be at the Lego house in Denmark when the Bugatti Chiron was unveiled. And they had a real Bugatti in the lobby, in the main lobby area of the Lego house that day. And there was a gentleman whose job it was, and I think the, the car was going to be there at the Lego house for about 10 days. And there was a gentleman who dressed in a suit and had a big feather duster. And his job, his full-time job, people, was to stand near the Bugatti and go over and dust it every now and then. Because Bugatti considers the reflection on the paint of their vehicle as part of their brand identity. So the car was there for 10 days. He was there for 10 days. And his job was just to dust the car periodically. Stop Motion Man 2020 says, I got a ton of candy from the store. <laughs> yeah, I saw some interesting things out there. You know, some uh, a lot of communities I know certainly here were still very concerned about COVID. Uh, and so I know some people were doing some different things. I know a lot of people didn't trick or treat, um, but some people had some interesting things. My, my friend James uh, had built like a big tube that went from their front porch out to the sidewalk. And there were some skeletons holding up the tube, I think, so they could send candy to trick-or-treaters from more than six feet away. Uh, Ken Beagle, yeah, nothing this year. Thanks, COVID. Going big next year. Any ideas for a family of three with a six-year-old? Oh, like like group, uh, group costume ideas? Is that what you're thinking? Family of three with a six-year-old. How about, uh, I, I know this is super trope, but the, the one that comes to mind is like, um, I'm just, I, this is like, if you're a family of three with like a mom and a dad, I'm, I, you might be a, a different family, but, uh, if that's the case, you could do like, uh, Luke, Leia, Yoda. I don't know. <laughs> Rodrigo says Lego stranger things, video game coming in 2021. That sounds awesome. Again, I don't know anything about it. Lego Mike says happy Halloween. Yeah. Halloween, that's a funny play on words. Bob Build says, hey, Boone. Hey, Bob. Thanks for being here. All right. April Lauer says, Boone sows equals, oh, sower, not sewer, or sowist, or a guy that sows, LOL. Don't say it wrong. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so, not sewer. It was supposed to be sower. I saw someone say hi to Cody. Is Oh, hey, Mitch Simpson is here. Best job ever. We've got, uh, da, da, da. I thought I saw someone say hi to Cody, so I thought maybe Cody Otley was here. Allison Gale said, if you had to fly to be on a TV show, would you do it? What do you mean, if you had to fly to be on a TV show? Oh, you mean during COVID? Yeah, I think I would. I'm sure there would just be some sort of like quarantine plan built into that, I think. Christian says, I told my family just throw candy at the people, but no, they made a poll that throws candy. <laughs> awesome. The Luigi Man says, I remember finding this channel over some 1995 Toy Story stuff. Yeah, very interesting. Uh, I, for some time, probably about between four and five years ago, I was making a lot of Toy Story videos. I'm very into Buzz Lightyear. Love Buzz. Uh, there's probably a Buzz Lightyear minifigure sitting in this little pile of minifigures right here. I've got a Buzz Lightyear up there, a Buzz Lightyear up there. Anyway, you just can't see him. Dave McVicker says, where is he? Says, hey Boone, longtime fan, but first time I've actually been able to catch a live stream. Happy Halloween and keep on building awesome stuff. I will. 
Hey, yeah, Cody O is here, and Jake the Sadovich, Saddlebricks, is here, was just finishing up the Batwing and just saw that you were on. Interestingly enough, I had to move my Batwing slightly out of the way because you can see the very tip of the wing right here, and I just went like, what? And now it's no longer in the shot. Thanks for being here, Jake. Thanks for being here, Cody. Thanks for being here, Jeff. And now Cody and Jake are all saying hi to each other and to Jeff. So um, the three of you can just go join your own stream. No, I'm just kidding. Stay here. Hang out. Brickman Mosaic Art says, Boone, would you rather build a Disney set or a Disney mock? Oh, that's, that's a really good question. It's a tough one. I'm trying to think if I've ever built a Disney mock. I have built a few Disney sets. Um... I built the Disney Disneyland train is right up there. I built, hold on just a moment. I built the Disneyland train. There's the station. The train is in this, uh, you can see it. You can see the parts to it in this little bin right here. I built Steamboat Willie. I still have that actually. I built, what else did I build? Disney. All right. I don't know. Uh, oh, the big Mickey and Minnie. Um, Brett Hooper has that now. Stop Motion Man says, "What is your favorite set of all time and mock of all time?" All right, here's a little, here's a, a quick thing. If you know my favorite set of all time, type it into the live stream. I want to see how many people out there know what is my favorite set of all time. My favorite mock of all time. That's a really good question. And I'm going to, that could be interpreted one of two ways. It could be interpreted, Boone, what is the your favorite mock that you've ever created? The other could, the other way to interpret that is, Boone, what is your favorite mock from someone else? Yeah, let's see. All right. Uh, so favorite set of all time. Molly says Barracuda. Jeff says Black Seas Barracuda. Jake Sadovich says Black Seas Barracuda. And Cult of Christensen says Black Seas Barracuda? Yes. If you said Barracuda, you are correct. If you said Legoreto, no, but Legoreto is a lot of people's favorite set. I believe Joshua Hanlon says Fort Legoreto is his favorite set, although he pronounces it Legorado. Um, I believe Kevin, uh, Kevin Hinkle says Legoreto is his favorite set. I believe Brett Hooper sort of says, like, it's my favorite set from childhood. I don't know that he says it's his favorite set of all time. But there we go. Yeah. Okay, well, hold on. We'll go back to the question up here. What is your favorite mock of all time? This is a really good question. And I think I would probably say, man, my, my brain just immediately wants to go to Jake Sadovich because I'm just such a huge fan of his builds. And, um, I won't, I, I won't try to talk myself out of going to Jake Sadovich. And what I'll do is I'll say the original Leviathan, the original big, um, ship in a bottle, the idea that Jake submitted to Lego ideas and was later produced as a smaller version of the big, if you haven't seen Jake's big ship in a bottle, I need to like put that, I need to like put that somewhere. I have one of two copies of the big ship in a bottle. I don't know if Jake's made any more. Jake, you'll have to let us know if uh, you've made any other copies of that big Leviathan mock. But I'll, I'll say that. I'll, there's a lot of awesome mocks from people out there. Um, okay, and then maybe what is my favorite mock from myself? Okay, if I exclude stuff from Lego Masters... Uh, because I would certainly want to pick something from there, but that was me and that was collaborative efforts from me and Mark and it was on TV. It was kind of a whole different thing. So I'll choose something else. I want to say like right now I'm hovering between, um, my Bricklink ADP fire engine and, um, my, uh, let's see my, my, my magic school bus is sitting right up there. You can see it back there in the background. All right. Yeah, Cody says Pops Cart, he usually says. That's true. I usually say Pops Food Cart. That's from uh, that's from Lego Masters. So what is your favorite Lego 
theme. What is your favorite Lego theme? Let's see. We could keep playing. How well does the chat know Boone? What do you What do you think is Boone's favorite theme? Put it in the chat. <laughs> Allison Gale. We'll wait for those. Stop motion. Allison Gale says, "If you could go back and give yourself advice for Lego Masters, what would you say?" Allison, this is your second question about Lego Masters. Should we read? Uh, into that or not. Allison, I would say this. Uh, don't do too much speculation. When you get there in the show, everyone's going to be speculating about what the next challenge is going to be. And at, at most people are mostly going to be wrong. And there's going to be a lot of energy around, uh, you know, what, what what's the next challenge going to be? And you'll save yourself a lot of fret if you just don't get caught up in the speculation. Another one is build your guts out. And ah, before you go, here's a big piece of advice. Before you go, give yourself some really strict timed challenges, okay? You will thank yourself if you know how to build stuff. Fazoom says in an old man voice, why are you people awake? Oh, let me see. What's my best, my best old man voice? So I sort of have this, there's this voice that if I was going to, if I was going to narrate a book, then I had to be a, a, a sage old weathered man. It would probably be something like this. All right, so for a little while, I will read people's comments in my old man voice. Zahi Brick says, Hey, Boone, what is your favorite Lego modular building? Mine is Assembly Square. I think my favorite modular building is probably the diner. I just I love the look of the diner. I think it's so rad. I think a lot of the other modulars just kind of look the same. Um, but let's see. Here we go. Uh, Cult of Christensen said classic pirates. You'd be you'd be real. That's a good bet right there. Um, who else? Did anyone else say anything? Um, yeah, pirates, classic space, not so classic space. These ones are getting real. Yeah, Mitch Simpson says pirates. JK IRL says space. Yeah, those are my answers. Um, classic pirates, but really anything pirates. It, there hasn't been a lot of pirate stuff over the years that I didn't think was at least kind of cool. Classic space, I love, but I think probably my favorite sub themes of all time are like the late 80s, early 90s space sub themes. Blacktron, Blacktron 2, uh, Mtron, uh, Ice Planet 2002, um, you know, Futuron, some of those. Those are, those are really, did I say Mtron? Man, Mtron is such a cool scheme. Yeah, let's see. Uh, Courtney says, is he on multiple live platforms? Yes, I am currently streaming live to uh, YouTube and Facebook. So that is a comment from Facebook. A lot of these comments are coming from YouTube. Zahi says, Diner is my second. Molly Makes Stuff Up says, what character do you want to see if there's another series of Disney minifigures? Oh, this is a great question. Um, have we had a Robin Hood? You know, the fox. So we've had, we've had Disney figures. We've had like the fox costume figure. And we've had like the forest men from the 80s and 90s that looked very, um, how do you say, Robin, Robin Hood-ish, Robin Hood-esque. And I, I would say uh, I would love to get a Disney Robin Hood minifigure. That, that would be rad. Brickman says, Brickman Mosaic Art, Boone Builds. I have a friend who's really good at filming, and he said he would like to film season two for Lego Masters. And the best part, he works for Netflix and has a couple of friends who were a part of Lego Masters. Well, uh, I'll, I don't know anything about how to get into that. What I do know is that the production company is Endemol Shine. So I think Endemol probably hires those people. Other than that, I don't know anything about the process of getting that kind of job. Jake Sadovich, good. I'm in good company. Ooh, agree on the Robin Hood. Wouldn't that be rad? Like a little kind of like foxy guy with like the Robin Hood hat. Yeah, I think so. I think it could be cool. 
<laughs> Jeff McElwee says, upper management has informed me it's time for bed. So do please have a nice night and happy Halloween if it's still Saturday in your neck of the woods. Night all. Yeah, it is still Saturday here, but only for another 25 minutes. That's why we're here. Okay, let's see. Ba -ba -ba. Cult of Christensen says, not really a Lego question, but where do you see yourself in five years, Boone? It's a good question. In five years, I'm either here. I, yeah, I didn't really say goodnight to Jeff. Good night, Jeff. Thank you so much for being with us. It's always a pleasure, man. Um, hmm. Where do I see myself in five years? Look, I would love to be designing for Lego someday. So if that's in the cards, awesome. Uh, I, the, the biggest downfall is I don't have a degree in design. So that's that's kind of always, I think, one of my biggest uh, biggest hurdles there is sort of proving that I have what it takes, given uh, the experience I've had with completely unrelated degrees. Now, the interesting thing is, since I've been operating Boon Builds as uh, my own business, this is kind of the first time I've ever owned my own business, and it's called Boon Builds, and. Um, Years ago, I'll say, how many years ago? 15 years ago, uh, almost 15 years ago, I graduated with a college undergrad degree in business administration. And my goal at that time was to start my own business. And I thought maybe it would be a video production company or some sort of, um, man, I would love to do some of the things that Jake Sadovich has done over the years. Um, you know, some sort of graphics company or some sort of like uh, fabrication company. But just out of college, I had no money. I had no capital to invest in starting a business. So I just went and got a job. I did IT uh, work for, I'd say, about four years. I went to grad school and got a teaching degree because my wife was a teacher, and I thought it looked like an easy path to follow. Not easy, but a sort of a, a logical path to follow for her and I and our life. Um, so I went to grad school at the same time she did, and I became a teacher, and then I was a teacher for four or five years. And uh, then I got into video production. I've always done video production as a hobby. And I did it professionally for about four or five years. And now for the last two years-ish, I'll say I've just kind of been running my own business. All right. Uh, the other alternative would be I'll still be here. I don't know. I'll still be here making videos in five years. I've been publishing to YouTube for over five years. So... I guess it's not unheard of that I could still be here doing this in five years. Whether anybody will be watching me in five years is another story. I don't know. I, I'm sure some of you have uh, been around that long. But all right. Allison Gale, in five years, you and me are going to be the stars of a Lego Muppet TV show. Duh. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Near far. Okay. Brickman Mosaics. Mosaic art. I could see Boone builds in five years learning how I make mosaics and also seeing him build some too. Oh, yeah, mosaics. Uh, I would love to do mosaics. The big yellow submarine that I did was sort of like the most mosaic-ish thing, but it, it's not exactly a mosaic. Super Collector, thank you. I have no doubt. Super Collector has been here since the beginning. Uh, Super Collector and I go way back. And uh, he says, if you keep making videos, I'll keep watching. Thank you very much. Dire Games says, it's 3 a.m. my time. Well, thanks for staying up. Happy belated Halloween to you. <clears throat> Molly Makes Stuff Up says, Bill, Ward al uh, Bill Ward's already made a Kermit. So, oh, hi-ho. Hi-ho, Kermit the Frog here. Today on Sesame Street Flash News. All right. Dang Boone, really going in depth on my question. Yeah, sorry. It's it's late. It's late. This is what we're here for. Not sure if you're into it, but what do you think about Lego Major League Baseball stadiums? Look, when they uh, – I'm not a huge sports fan in general, but I have a great appreciation for um, – how do I say it? I have a great appreciation for the fandom that – is accompanied with sports teams and the stadiums are a huge piece of that, right? Like for, for many, many teams and fandoms, there is tons of history and lore and nostalgia for these stadiums, especially the ones that have been around for a very long time. So 
Not sure if you're into it, but what would you think about Lego MLB stadiums when they did the football, not American football, but the, um, what was that? Who, who, what football team? It was, uh, Manchester. Was it Manchester United? They did a 18 and up set four just recently. And I thought, yeah, they, they gotta get into some other types of, um, of stadiums. So I think if you search here, here's what I'm gonna do. I think that my web browser is actually maybe working. So I'm going to share my screen. We're going to do this. We're going to pop over here, share this, boom. And I'm going to just type in most popular sports teams in the world. And here's what we're going to get. You're going to see <clears throat> New York Yankees, Manchester United are going to be at the very top of any of these lists. Um, and I think that a lot of these lists actually place Manchester United at the very top of the list as the most popular sports team in the world. Um, so it's not surprising that, that, you know, being that um, the, the Manchester United stadium and someone is going to be able to tell us what that's called. I just don't remember off the top of my head. It's very late and I have stream brain. But uh, it was not surprising. It, it was surprising to me when I first saw it. I was like, "Is that really popular? Are people going to be into that?" And then I looked it up. And I was like, "Oh yeah, they actually happen to be the most popular sports team in the entire world." But you're going to see teams like the New York Yankees. You asked about MLB specifically. You're going to see teams like Boston Red Sox. So um, what is it? Um, where do the Yankees play? Um, Boston plays at. Um, Fenway. So Boston plays at Fenway. I know Fenway is a really cool park. I think uh, that could be a cool Lego build. Yankees, someone's going to have to tell me where the Yankees play. But, you know, those kinds of like huge, huge fandoms, I, I think could be viable buildings. And, you know, looking at some of these, like uh, you got Lakers on there, you got Chicago Bulls on there. I think a Major League Baseball stadium is going to be a more interesting build from an aesthetic standpoint than like an enclosed basketball arena. Um, so Yank it was just called Yankee Stadium. Okay, cool. Let's see. Brickman Mosaic Art says, I heard we're getting a Roman Coliseum. I also heard we're getting a Roman Coliseum. I don't know anything official about it. I don't know anything official about a Roman Coliseum. Thanks for bringing it up, Brickman. <laughs> Jacob says, hey there, Boone. Have you seen the meter tall Lego Saturn V with over a thousand pieces? Yeah, I actually have it. I haven't built it. And it was designed by uh, Mike Psyche. And I actually think Carl Merriam helped with that design. Uh, and those, those guys are two of my favorite Lego designers. Fazoom says, good night. Keep the noise down, you kids. No, you can't make us. We're not going to take it. Uh, <laughs> Darth GBC says, absolutely love the costumes you made for your kids. Thank you, Darth. Now that my internet seems to be running, I'm going to see if I can't pull up some fun pictures here for Halloweenish Halloweenish stuff. Um, Photos.google.com. We'll see how quickly it gets there. Uh, it actually looks like it's not doing too bad. Wait. Molly says he has that there's a Coliseum nearby look. Okay. Over here on the, I'm just going to share this one. This is my children in their... Hamilton costumes, and uh, I handmade the Hamilton costumes, so we've got him, uh, Alexander Hamilton on your right, and Eliza Schuyler Hamilton on your left, and maybe in here there is a picture of me doing some sewing, so here I'm working on the Eliza dress, and here I think I am sewing buttons uh, I was almost done with the Hamilton coat at this point, and I'm sewing on some buttons there. Okay, I'm going to close this up, close that up, and we'll pop back over here. LOL from Red Yellow King 
make up your mind. <laughs> it's 2 a.m. where I am, Lego Masters Season 2. There is going to be one, I think. I think, I mean, is that your question? Is there going to be a Lego Masters 2? I think so. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to be on it. Or, oh, all bricks count, and I'm pretty sure Molly makes stuff up. Probably some other people in here ordered Sesame Street set tonight. Awesome, sweet. I love it. Rubber ducky, you're the one. You make bath time lots of fun. Rubber ducky, I'm awfully fond of you. Bo -bo -bo -dio. Something like that. Ernie. Ah, ah, Ernie. I got to work on my Bert. For years and years and years, I did Ernie. And then it, and I couldn't do Bert. And Ernie, Ernie is like way back in the throat. And then, and then I realized that Bert is like way forward. And it's, it's, I still don't have it quite nailed down, but it's like, ah, Ernie, go to sleep. I still don't quite have it, but I found the spot. That it's like way in the front of the throat. And I, I I found it. So I'm on my way. I'm on my way to have him burn. All right. Cool, cool, cool. The the janitor, Alexander Hamilton. Okay. Let's see. I saw someone else with maybe an interesting question here. Hi, Boone. Do you know anything about the possible castle type theme for 2021? I don't. Listen, y'all, I, I am the worst place to come for news, um, but, but I, I'm I'm so behind on, I, I just, I don't keep up with news, so I don't often know about what's coming, and because uh, Boone Builds is recognized LEGO fan media, once I do know something's coming, I'm not allowed to talk about it until it's public knowledge, so I, it's, it's like a darned if you do, darned if you don't. All Bricks Count says, how's the bus idea going? It's, I think it's going okay. The rising has definitely plateaued a bit. It, it, I get more, sub, uh, what are those called? Supporters. I get more supporters every day. So for all of you who have gone over to Lego Ideas and supported the Magic School Bus, thank you so much. I can't do this without you. I really can't. I'm only one person. We need 10,000. Um, but tomorrow... I will do, a, you know, sort of a more official weekend update. And I think Perry Wang is going to be here in the studio with me. I could be wrong. Don't sue me if you come on to weekend update. Uh, week, brick, weekend update is SNL. Don't hold it against me if you come into the uh, live stream for Brick and Update tomorrow. And Perry's not here, but I think he's going to be here with me in the studio. And we should do a little bit. Dave McVicker says, can you do the Swedish Chef? I don't know how I don't know what to say because it's all like Ferndy Verdy Gerdy Verdy. I don't know. Cody O says Perry is a great dude. Yes, absolutely. Perry is a great dude. So hopefully we'll get to, to have him in the studio here tomorrow for uh brick end update. Baby, it's the brick end weekend. Gonna have me some fun. But that's not tonight. So uh but anyway, to the previous question from All Bricks Count, I will do an official update on the bus tomorrow during Brick and Update. Tracy says, I think a large build of the Sorcerer's Hat would be awesome, and they could do a lot with the Tree of Life. Ooh, interesting. Ryan says, do you think they will make a version of the Mario Lego with actual minifigures? I don't know the answer to that, but I know people want it. People want the Mario minifigure. People want the Luigi minifigure. People want the Princess Peach. People want the Bowser. People want the minifigures. Um, so it, I, I would be very surprised having secured the license to Mario that Lego would not at some point take the opportunity to make official minifigures. But I, I, that one I... <laughs> look at that Mario I seriously I do not know the answer to that question uh, but I hope so hi Boone would you recommend buying two Lego Sesame Street sets and combining them into one big building I don't know I don't know I would recommend that you do whatever is fun for you um, I have not gotten my hands on a, on a Sesame Street yet I really want it uh, but uh, I, don't, I don't know we'll see we will see and Jacob says, hey, 
There again, Boone, do you think we will ever get a Lego Star Killer base set? Star Killer race. I eventually. I kind of think Star Wars is one of those things that like Lego is going to do almost everything eventually in some form. Um, I correct me if I'm wrong, but that big like Corellian cruiser, um, what what was that called? Uh, or, or is it, it was it a Mon the the Mon Calamarian cruiser? I don't know who makes that big cruiser, but it was a a rebel, the biggest kind of rebel cruiser. It's that sort of weird thing that looks like a. Uh, what does it look like? It kind of looks like a, a giraffe bent over. Um, we didn't have that for the longest time, and they just released it as sort of like a mini build. I think that thing's pretty cool. So, Star Cooler Race someday? Yeah, probably. Caden uh, Kaden in the Spider, 1 a.m. Yeah, there's 49 people watching. Woohoo! Sweet. Super collector, I want le I want Zelda minifigure scale sets. Absolutely, me too. I, I just think having you know like a Link minifigure that's official that'd be legit. Um, no, no, uh, people are saying the Tantive Four. Yeah, Nebulon B frigate is the one that I'm talking about. Nebulon B. It's a trap. They should make more spaceships. Molly says, when Lego realizes they get a spike in sales on their site whenever Boone does a live stream, yeah, I, it's probably not. It's a drop in the bucket. A drop in the bucket. Okay. Brickman Mosaic Art says, Boone builds. Do you think Lego will do a Disneyland set of the Pirates of the Caribbean ride? That's interesting. Um, I feel like that's almost too specific, but it could. You know, it could happen. What do we have from Disneyland? We have, you could say Cinderella's castle is is the castle from the um, what the uh, the the Florida park, the Orlando park. Uh, you could say that the train station is from um, Anaheim or Orlando or probably any of it. Maybe I don't know what they look like in in Tokyo or um, or Paris, but. Uh, so what else do we do we have anything else from from the parks specifically so we're just in in my opinion or i guess in my observation we're like just scraping the tip of the iceberg with um official like disney theme park sets so will they get to pirates of the caribbean I don't know. It's kind of interesting that Pirates of the Caribbean from the outside doesn't really look, you know, just kind of from the outside Pirates of the Caribbean pretty much blends into, uh, what is that, New Orleans Square. Um, but inside is totally different. So I, I'm not sure how they would execute that. Of course, they can do whatever they want. I almost feel like they'd be more likely to attack a ride that sort of is iconic from the inside and the outside, almost like the Matterhorn. Couldn't you imagine them doing the Matterhorn, like a mountain with the roller coaster tracks built in or, um, you know, anything that looks from the outside and the inside, like the Haunted Mansion, but I don't know that they would do the Haunted Mansion because there's been like two different haunted houses and one of them was a ride just this year. Okay. All bricks count with the leak of the new Ecto-1 set based on the new movie footage, apparently. What nostalgia movie-based sets would you like to see done? Ideally, something not yet done in Lego. Okay, this is a good question. I'm not going to comment about the Ecto-1 leak, but I will say what nostalgia, what nostalgic movie-based sets would you like to see done? All right, hey, everybody, answer that question in the chat. What nostalgic movie-based sets would you like to see done? Boy, some of, some of the items at the top of that list have been done in the last couple of years. 1989 Batmobile, definitely would have been on that list for me. It's done. 1989 Batwing, definitely would have been on that list to me. It's done. I really wish we would get a Jurassic Park Jeep from 1993 or was it 94? Anyway, that very early Jurassic Park Jeep, tons of people have built it as a mock. We haven't gotten it officially yet. Uh, Molly makes stuffs up. Says Goonies. Yeah, that would be fun. Uh, what would they? What would they put in the set? We did get. Didn't we get a sloth in as a minifigure in Dimensions? 
Yeah, people are saying DeLorean. Christmas Story, I actually could see them doing a Christmas Story, except I feel like the iconic thing to do from Christmas Story is the leg lamp, and I'm not, I'm not sure Lego would produce the leg lamp. It's just maybe a little bit too sexy. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Ooh, Buildable 1989 Batman fig. I'll tell you what, Bob Builds. I would love to see Buildable figures, a la the Star Wars Buildable figures, in many more than just Star Wars. We did get some old, we got some old superhero stuff. There was Batman and there was Joker. I think they looked pretty terrible. There was Iron Man and there was Captain America. Again, they just weren't, they weren't trying when they made those superheroes. They weren't trying to make them like as sort of like true to the human versions of that you see in of the Star Wars characters in the buildable figures. So there's it was a different thing. So I, I definitely would love to see, yeah, a 1989 buildable Batman figure would be awesome. But I'd I'd love to see buildable figures from anything other than Star Wars. I mean, I love that they had them for Star Wars. Okay, let's see. Oh, Molly says, Jonathan, yes, anything Seuss. I think I think Dr. Seuss would translate incredibly well to Lego, but they did it. Mm, um, Mega had it. Mega did Dr. Seuss stuff in their like kind of Duplo counterpart line. It was kind of chunkier bricks and they had like characters and it was cat in the hat, I think is what they were doing. All right, let's see. <laughs> what is this? Yes, but I need me some Josh Brolin. What is that from? Oh, yeah, from uh, Goonies? Okay. Cool. Jim, yep. You and all of us, I hope we get another season of Lego Masters. Cool. Who said uh, a Beetlejuice set would be cool? Yeah, Jamie, a Beetlejuice set absolutely would be cool. We did get the figure and some mini builds with dimensions. So I think a could maybe could be a possibility. I don't know. We'll see. I wish Lego would make a Pluto figure. Lego did make a Pluto figure, but it was with the sort of earlier weird in between scale. Uh, let's go. Let's do this. Bricklink. We're going to bricklink.com right over here on my window. Oh, wah, wah, wah. It's 11.57 and the system is unavailable at BrickLink. Seems like I catch that all the time. An official ET set would be cool. They did make a Pluto figure. It doesn't move and it would it would be a little bit too big to, to look right with the standard minifigures. David McVicker, A-Team Ban. We got the mini A-Team van in Dimensions. So you could certainly go pick that up in the aftermarket, but it's very small. It doesn't accommodate the minifigures, but that is a cool, cool thing. Maybe some more retro sci-fi, because it's retro. Yeah, I love like the like the retro Spaceman minifigure from Series 17 Collectible Minifigures. That was rad. Wasn't that rad? JKIRL, Buck Rogers. Hey, cool. That'd be great. Your Batman sign in the back. What about my Batman sign in the back? That's actually just, yeah, the Batman sign is cardboard. I got it. It's the Batman Lego, the Lego Batman movie sign, but it's like from the movie theater. So it's just on cardboard. Um, Brick and Nick actually built something very similar to that out of Lego, and I really should. Um, but, okay. Let's see. What else we got here? Yeah, these are good things. I'm trying to think. I'll just say mine is... Um, I'll go with my comment about the uh, Jurassic Park Jeep. I think that would be really cool. We've had plenty of Jurassic Park stuff. But uh, I do think it would be cool to get that Jeep. Bum, bum, bum. With the passing of Sean Connery, I'd love to see a Bond artwork set a la the Sith and Iron Man artwork sets. Yeah, that would be great. We got the Bond car. It would be pretty cool. You know, uh, Connery, I, I was sewing my children's Halloween costumes this morning when my wife broke the news to me that Sean Connery had passed. 
And I think because I was so focused on my sewing project that that news did not hit me, um, you know, as, as with as much impact as it might have. Scott Thomas, I would love to see Thundercats. Yeah, I think Mega has it. I think. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Maybe that's just Master of the Universe stuff. Yeah, maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, because those are definitely two different things. I was thinking I had seen Mega Thundercat stuff, but I think I'm just thinking of uh, He-Man stuff. So, all right. Bob Build says, it's late. I'm going to sleep. Uh, it's late here, too. It is midnight. It is now officially no longer Halloween, everybody. Thank you so much for being here. I guess we can hang out for just a few more minutes. Bye, Bob. See you later. Nap3 says, I want some more Lego mechs and some spaceships and probably some Minecraft. Yeah, I think we'll probably get all of those things in little doses over time. Uh, hey, Film says, no Halloween. Halloween is over. It is over, folks. Hey, but, you know, we said goodbye to Halloween together. On my end, in my time zone, we were here together for the end of Halloween. And um, that means we were also together for the end of October. And here's a special thing about October. And I, I don't, I haven't quite fully processed it for myself yet. But I published a video here on Boom Builds or went to live stream every day for the month of October. And it's been the first time that I've published or live streamed consecutively for that many days in a very long time. I think it's been a number of years since I published or streamed daily for any significant amount of time. Now, I got to say, I challenged myself to do daily in October. Am I going to continue doing daily in November? We'll see. I, I don't know. It takes a tremendous amount of work. And sometimes, not unlike tonight, sometimes I feel like I'm just getting on here to like blab at the camera. And it makes me wonder if it's valuable content and if it's worth, you know, if, if going daily means inherently for me and my schedule that some of my content has to be kind of just turning it on and talking is that valuable? And, and maybe it is. And I think for all of you here, it is. And you are the ones that are always going to be here and support me. Cody O says people want to be here. Thank you very much, bro. Yeah. Um, and so I'm going to try. All right, here, I'll say it right here. I'm going to try to do daily in November. Um, and I'll say it now. I plan to do daily in December because I have so much content that I'm planning for September. Sheesh. I don't even know how I'm going to get any of it done or how I'm going to get all of it done. But, um, but I, yeah, it'd be kind of cool if I shoot for daily in November. And November has a day less than October, right? So I just did 31 days. Maybe I can do another 30. And then we'll run right up to December, and I'll just do daily in December. And then I'll have three months under my belt for quarter four of 2020. And then who knows what beyond that. We'll see. We'll see. All right. Brickman Mosaic Art says, no shave November. Oh, is that a dare? I just look so, I feel like all the hair on my face just comes in so slow and like sporadically that it's just going to be a month of me looking like I just have a dirty face, which is, which I don't really like, but I've got to, I'll sleep on it. Okay. I'll sleep on it. Jonathan says, Epic beard, by the way, trying to grow mine full like yours. Well, thanks, uh, but I can't grow it up here. I can grow a mustache, but it's it's not cute, and it doesn't really connect, and ugh, I don't know. <laughs> I've gotten into a weird place of self-deprecation this evening, so that's what you get. They should make a pepper sprite in a Lego set. It would look cool. Pepper sprite. Pepper, pepper Sprite. Uh, nap three, you're going to have to tell us what a Pepper Sprite is. I don't know what it is. I just looked it up. Pepper, am I reading that right? Do make the Pepper Sprite. Make the Pepper Sprite. Huh. I don't know. 
Could be cool. I don't know what it is. Jacob says, I would like to see a Killer Clowns from Outer Space tent spaceship set. Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Jeez, you guys are throwing stuff at me. Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Sounds scary. Um, I'll just do tent. Oh, that actually looks kind of cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a... Is this a is this a music group? I feel like I've heard of Killer Clowns from Outer Space, and they've got this. Um, I'll show this. Those guys are creepy, man. But but this is a cool. Open link a new tab. This is a cool. Uh, somebody, I guarantee, somebody has built this as a mock. And if they hadn't, if they haven't, they will. So, oh, I didn't mean to do that. I just want to open the image. Uh, open image in new tab. There it is. And it sort of looks like a spinning top, kind of. We'll zoom in a little bit here, and I'm going to hide the comment. Yeah, so this is like a <laughs> circus tent that flies through space. It's, it's, a great, it's a great idea. Oh, Eric Hansen's here. Says, it's terrifying. It's a movie. All right, thanks. It's a movie. Cool. Cool, cool. All right. April's Crazy Brick says, okay, I switched from Facebook to here. Had to go look at that Sesame Street set. Haha, <laughs> nice. Welcome. Hey, films. Hey, 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 films. I really want some classic sets, not like building blocks, just some sets that look like old, look old from like the 80s and 90s. I mean, it's hard to say. Like, there's just so many pieces that exist now that didn't exist then that even when they release stuff that's kind of throwback, they're still going to incorporate new build techniques and new pieces into it. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, 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 my bad. The minty sprite. Yeah, the minty sprite. Cool. What did. Oh, pepper sprite. Oh, I see. Yeah, it's the minty sprite. Yeah. Uh, sorry, it should be a mini Lego poly bag. Oh, cool. Thanks. Well, it is a mini a mini poly bag on boonbuilds.com. It's just not official, but you can go buy it if you want. Boonbuilds.com. Buy the minty sprite. I'll show it. Let's head on over to boonbuilds.com. Select all, boonbuilds.com. I'm also planning to rework my website sometime soon. The Minty Sprite is a little kit that you can get at Boon Builds. It's the only kit so far. But you get it directly from me. You get all the pieces you need to build this little ray gun. You get them in a nifty little bag. And uh, if you reach out to me, I'd be happy to, you know, I don't know, autograph that or throw in a little picture of me and Mark or whatever. It's there, and I wouldn't have created that page. Look, I wouldn't have created that page if I wasn't planning on doing more with it. That Minty Sprite is not going to be the only thing on that page. So, Here we go. Here we go. Have you sewed anything Lego-themed for yourself on that sewing machine? Yeah. Yeah, let me see. Let me see what, if I can find what I sewed. I did a Classic Space shirt. When was that? I got to think of when it was. It was probably right before. Where did I wear that? I wore it somewhere. Was it? Hmm. I don't. I don't. I don't know where that would be. Let me just look on Facebook and maybe I've got. Maybe I've got it in my, like pictures of Boone, or no. You know what? I'll go. I'll go back to um, Google Photos. Photos.google.com. I gotta say, it looks nice with the gold and green, really nice. Thank you, thank you very much. Yeezy, in my opinion, I would be happy if they made a Lego BMW Technic set and a Technic Big Plane. Oh, BMW, that's, that's a German vehicle. And Germany, I don't know if you know this, Germany is the largest Lego market in the world. Uh, I, 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 I believe. Um, either that or they're just incredibly enthusiastic about Lego over in Germany. Seems like seems like a German automobile would do pretty well. I'm going to search for myself over here and see if I can't find... Uh, I made this... Uh, maybe like blue shirt. Careful when you're typing the word shirt. 
Hmm. This would have been a while ago. And now it's like my web browser doesn't want to load anything again. So I don't think I'm going to find this. But I made myself um, a classic space shirt. So it was a button up, a short sleeve button up shirt. And the whole middle of the shirt was blue. And the sleeves were gray. And the sleeves had yellow and black stripes on them. And there was a classic space patch right on the chest. So it's sort of like a mechanic work shirt. Looked a lot like a mechanics work shirt or a bowling shirt, but it was classic space themes. Did you make your Ghostbusters costume with that sewing machine? No, I didn't make my Ghostbusters costume with that sewing machine. I, let's see, I bought the, how did I make that Ghostbusters costume? I, I bought the flight suit. So it's like a actual like military flight suit. And I hand stitched the Ghostbusters logo patch for the arm and the Langston logo patch for the chest here. And it took a long time, but I literally basically embroidered, hand embroidered an, an entire Lego logo, uh, uh, go, sorry, Ghostbusters logo patch. Let me see if that's in Google Photos. If I go to Ghostbusters, I don't know what tune that was. It was not the Ghostbusters tune. Can I go back in time? Can I get back in time? Look, here's like pictures of when I was building, I was building a, um, what did they call this? The Geiger counter, the Geiger meter from Ghostbusters 2. And um, here it is kind of done with the swirly lights. I'll hide Eric Hansen's. This was back when I built stuff out of like all kinds of materials. It was kind of cool. I was sort of pleased with it, but it wasn't perfect. Um, I'm not seeing, oh, look, here is the night that I built the Ghostbusters Firehouse headquarters. That's a rad set, man. It's a cool one. It is definitely a cool one. Beck Bell says, I was in my Lego Dark Ages when the Monster Fighter series came out. I'd love to have those sets. Yeah, no kidding. I was, <sighs> I wouldn't say it was in my Dark Ages, but it was a time that I wasn't, I didn't have a lot of, uh, I didn't have a lot of, what do you call it? Expendable income. So I wasn't like going out and buying the haunted mansion or the haunted house from Monster Fighters. Because I, I think that's one of the coolest sets of all time. I, but I've never had it, so I don't say it's my favorite. I've never built it. I don't know what the build is like. All bricks count. The camper van should still be on the Lego site. Hmm. I don't know what camper van. Well, hope you guys have a great time. In the live stream, Toy Bonnie says, well, hope you guys have a great time in the live stream. I wonder if that means they're leaving. Hey, happy Halloween, Toy. Thanks for hanging out with us. Beep, 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 beep. Jake Savage says, wow, wow, what? Jake, what are you wowing? I really wish uh, some of my, like, proton pack build pictures were in here. Here's, oof. Here's a, we'll see what we can do. I'm going to go to GB fans. We're going into a really deep, a sort of non-Lego hole here. I'm going to log in to go to gbfans.com. Let's see if I can find some of my old pictures of when, oh, the hand embroidery. Yeah, man, I got to find that. Let me see if, so I'm logging in. I'm going to see if I can find this. If I go to my, let's see. Nope. Forum. It's been so long since I've been on this site. We'll just pop over here. I'll show it to you guys. So I used to be really active on this. Um, shock, shock on your forum. I want to get to like my posts. If I go to, this is like different than it used to be, and it's like it looks like I don't even exist here anymore because the whole system has changed. Joined. January 27th, 2002. Total posts. Search users' posts. Okay. Um, the big guys are Duino pack lights with code. This is, um, I coded my own. Uh, I don't know if we're going to find anything in here. I don't see any pictures. I wonder if pictures disappear from this site after... So many times. It's been a very long time. It's been a very long time. 
Ved's box of Lego bricks says, hello, Mr. Boone. How are you? I'm doing great, Ved. Thanks. Okay. I think I'm going down a, a bad trail here. I, I, I don't think I'm going to find anything. Scratch build. The big guy's scratch build. Okay. We're, we're going to just see if there's anything else in here. Look, it look it's like it's like there's nothing here. Okay, here's my proton pack. This is a video of my proton pack from right after I finished it. Let me see, can I full screen this? And um, this is hanging up on the wall right over there. Some of you might have seen it in some of my old videos. And um, I don't know, it's not great. I mean, I built it completely from scratch, so it's kind of cool in that way. But there's some people out there that have built some much more incredible uh, detailed proton packs. I kind of have a dream of building a really legit proton pack in full scale out of Lego someday. But I don't know. It's not like, it's not like terribly, how do I get out of here? It's not terribly interesting to me, but let me scroll up and see if I can find, how many pages are there? Where are the pages? Bummer. I don't see like that must not be it. We're gonna go back one more. Code or do we know anyone? Big guys. Code Comic Con Portland, Oregon. Build Portland. Portland. Sheesh, I don't know. All right, that's boring. If I'm not finding anything cool to show. Tracy says, I was working on the Pirates of Barracuda Bay, but it is a long build. Hanging out with you is much less stressful, so I think it will have to be finished later today. Oh, okay. Well, thank you very much. Hey, Film says, do you collect more older sets or newer sets? I, I'm not a huge set collector in general. I mean, I have a lot of sets for someone who says they're not a huge set collector. But... Most of the sets that I have are from like doing Lego product reviews with Beyond the Brick or Here on Bone Builds. And of course, all of those are new. If I'm interested in getting something like from a collector standpoint, I'm probably more interested in getting something old that has like some nostalgia for some reason. Um, over here, you can't quite, well, you can see the Galaxy Explorer is on a shelf. How do I move my hand over there? Galaxy Explorer is sitting up on a shelf right here. That was one that. I wanted as a kid and didn't get to have. Um, 1979, that thing's from. The, the very first classic spaceship. <clears throat> cool. Mikey says, what's up, Boone? Hey, Mikey. How you doing? I'm doing, I'm doing good. I'm, I'm thinking it's almost time for me to go to bed. How long have we been streaming here? Uh, I think it's been, uh, we just passed the hour mark. Holy smokes, we passed the hour mark. What are you all doing here? This is crazy. Well, yeah, I know you're a mock builder like me. Yeah, a lot of the sets that I have end up, you know, getting dismantled and I turn them into other things. I, honestly, I'll, I'll tell you, creating content for the internet and being a builder is hard. I do not build from my own imagination nearly as much as I wish I would. Now, that being said, I recognize that I have a tremendous privilege of, of having the time to do that much more often than some people do. And, and so I do feel blessed to be able to build things, build mocks as often as I can. Uh, but um, but I, I do, I, I wish I did it more. And I, and I wish that I could conceive of a way, and, and believe me, I've, I've thought about it over and over and over again, and I've, I've tried to work in some, some systems that would allow me to keep doing the content and do more of just like the building. And like one of the ideas that I've been talking about for a long time is this pirate build that I'm going to start over here as soon as I get this place cleaned up. It's like, I got to get this place cleaned up, and that takes time that I'm not publishing stuff. So it's like this, it's a vicious cycle. Um, anyway, yeah, Cody says, uh, somewhere here, oh, did Aqua Mike just get here? Aqua Mike, how did that song go? It was like, um, <laughs> something about under the water, 
Here comes Aqua Mike. Beck says, I moved recently and found one of my classic space sets that is mint in box. Woo! It still has the original price tag on it. Wowza. I was so excited when I found it. Congratulations. I'm excited for you that you found it. Hey, hey Film says, yeah, having to create content and then having to upload is hard. I always have a hard time to do that too. Well, thanks for the solidarity. Hey. Jacob is talking about the Overlook Hotel set from The Shining. Who built... Someone built a big Lego... Like the, the, the hedge maze from The Shining. Did you see the hedge maze? It came out like, a, I don't know, a year or two ago. Someone built this incredible mock. And I mean, it's... In a way, it looks very simple because it's all kind of like one color. But it's also incredibly intricate but that was cool go look that up if you haven't seen it i can't remember who built it but someone built the hedge maze just do like shining lego hedge maze and uh hopefully you'll find some cool stuff out there <laughs> is that it is that aqua mike we're under the ocean i'm not gonna get the tune right because i can't remember I'll, i'm gonna have to go back i promise aqua mike i'm gonna go back at some point um and <laughs> figure it out we're under the ocean and we're having a problem. Go call Aqua Mike. Hey, Aqua Mike. I don't know, something like that. <laughs> Yo, I think it's I think it's about time to wrap up. We're still having fun. I keep saying it's almost time to go to bed. We do. Someone said we get an extra hour of sleep tonight. If you want to think about it that way, sure we do. And most I, I'm gonna wake up at the normal time anyway tomorrow, uh, and and then I'll just have an extra hour of Sunday. I mean, you could look at it either way. You either get an extra hour of sleep or you get an extra hour of productivity the next day. It's up to you. That's up to you. How did I get here? YouTube just recommended your live stream algorithms. I don't know. Tharsim. I don't know, man. I don't know. Hang out or don't. It's your call. <laughs> Doc Sampson says, Boone is up late. That's for sure. That is for sure. Do you have the Lego Technic 42025 cargo plane? I do not. I do not have that. Okay. Our hour was last week in Europe. Oh, in Europe, you had the uh, spring uh, fallback. You had the fallback last week. Cool. Well, it's like, we're time traveling, man. It's like, uh, yeah. April says, Boone, Costco is selling Star Wars Lego The Child Baby Yoda set for $64. Keep a keep an eye on it at your local Costco. What is the standard price of that? Lego uh, The Child The Child Lego The Child The MSRP is $79.99 80 bucks. Yeah, so you're getting like a $16 discount if you can find it at Costco for $64. Bucks. Woo! Wowza. Cody O says, got to get the world to support the Magic School Bus. Right on the Magic School Bus. Bop -de -de -bow -bow. On the Magic School Bus. Bop -de -de -bow -bow. It's the Magic School Bus. Oh, wait. I wasn't going to give this away. But go. Go support the Magic School Bus. I think I put the link in the description of this video, but now I can't remember because it is it is it is late. Uh, Zaliha T says, "Does anyone have a Netflix account I can use?" Probably not. Um, but uh, good luck with that. Aqua Mike says, "Just got ten friends to support your idea. Sweet." We're gonna look at the official update. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna give away what it is right now. Don't anyone put it in the live chat. I mean it. Uh, we're gonna do the official update tomorrow during Brick End Update. Eric Hansen says, "With the frizz? No way." And we got some people saying, "This is the way." Yeah, sixty-four bucks for Baby Yoda. This is the way. This is. There should be a song. Um. This, this, whoa, how does that, how, how, how that, um, you know, that, how, how does that, uh, Mandalorian song go? You know what I'm talking about, like that, 
I can't think of the, the melody. This is the way. Couldn't you imagine, like, um, someone who would it be? Like, <laughs> like old Bon Jovi. This is the way. Oh, boy. Jamie Gort says, Boone has spoken. I have. I've been speaking for 100, I mean, for an hour and 10 minutes now. Do you know where to find free music for videos on YouTube? There is the YouTube music library. YouTube has this whole free music library built into the creator studio if you're talking about YouTube. Now, whether, you're, whether or not you're allowed to use that music anywhere else, I do not know. You can also go to Incompetech, and that is uh, Creative Commons, so you just have to give Incompetech the credit. You just have to like credit Incompetech in like your description or within your video itself. I almost want to play it in my headphones. Let me see if here. Oh, this is what I'm gonna do. This is this is what happens this late at night, people. And um, more people are watching than were a few minutes ago. I'm gonna go to um, Mandalorian theme song. I'm going to listen to it in my headphones, and then I'm just going to try to, like, sing little parts of it. <laughs> oh. Here we go. Are you ready? This is all the intro. It's got to get into into something more recognizable, right? Here it is. Boom, boom. And it's got that ding, ding. Ding ding, uh, ba -da -da -da. okay, hold on, I gotta go back. <laughs> it's the yeah, yeah. Here we go. I wish you could hear the drums. <laughs> okay, okay, so now I gotta remember that. It's the Oh boy. <laughs> I love that guy that came on here a little while ago and it was like, uh, how did I end up here? If anyone got the YouTube algorithm while I was doing that and dropped in and had no idea what we're all doing here, they'd be like, what? <laughs> oh boy. April says, there is a cool Mandalorian how they made it documentary on Disney Plus that shows the guy who actually came up with the theme song. You have to watch it. I've actually watched that dude and he's got like, um, he's, he's like a, he's like a Finnish guy or, or a Swedish guy or something like that. Right. And he's got these, these like big, like plastic, a bunch of different sizes of like plastic, um, kind of flute things. And there's like, wah, wah, wah. you know, when you get that, 
Couldn't you imagine that like electric guitar? Like, anyway, all right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> Eric says instant sub. Yeah, I doubt it. I bet anyone, and, and I keep I keep waiting for the viewers to drop off of this stream. It has gotten out of hand. Uh, yeah, Ludwig Garrison, uh, Gar uh, Garcion. Uh, I don't know. All right, he uses a cool 1970s gadget. Hey, 1970s gadgets are rad. Oh, well. Uncle Mike, you should make an album for me. I will <laughs> listen. I, I gotta if I can make an album for myself, then I'll put you on the list. Um, and that's you know sometimes I'll tell you this. Not everybody knows this, but I kind of have this dream that if I ever actually get to go to Denmark and live in Denmark and be a Lego designer, and um and like that's my day job. So like if uh, if I don't have to run this business, you know, and I can just be a Lego designer as my day job, then like I could actually have some other hobbies again. And um, I would like totally like to just, but because let's take for instance, what's his name? Um, uh, Power Pig. Someone remind me what was Power Pig's name before he went uh, to design for Lego? Uh, Chris McVeigh. Chris McVeigh. So Chris McVeigh ha has been an A fall for years and years and years. He's published some really incredible like kits and sets and designs online. Um, some stuff that you've probably seen, even if you don't know his name. And then he went and now he works for Lego. Uh, brick sketches. You've seen the newest brick sketches. Chris McVeigh has been doing brick sketches for years and years and years and years. It was one of his things, but it wasn't the only thing he did well. He did some other like old cameras and old computers and old like, uh, gaming systems, uh, really cool stuff. And then they got him, they hired him and now he works in Denmark and he had to close down his shop. He had to close down his shop and he had to like stop selling anything related to Lego. And, and I've heard that if you become a Lego product designer, how much you're allowed to share online of your own stuff kind of depends on what department, who your boss is, like who your who who the boss is in your design department. Because each theme has, you know, each theme and each kind of like division of Lego products has its own sort of tier structure and it kind of depends i've heard so like uh chris well with chris perron designed he was on he's done some batman stuff um he's he's done some other cool stuff and he publishes stuff new stuff to his instagram uh, not instagram uh flickr chris perron publishes new stuff to his flickr all the time and it's incredible stuff and um it's because his boss whoever his boss is is a little bit more like yeah you can publish your stuff as long as there is a really distinct separation between the kinds of stuff you're doing on your own and the kinds of stuff you're doing for Lego, because we don't want anybody to draw any conclusions about what you might be publishing on your own. Some other managers, some other design department managers are like, uh, no, you can't be sharing your own stuff. So then I'm, I'm sort of like, wouldn't it be cool? Wouldn't it be cool if I could design Lego products as my day job and then my YouTube channel could just be like me singing weird songs? <laughs> that, YouTube art, that YouTube channel already exists, by the way. It's called Boon Builds. And uh, there are, there's about um, one one hundredth the number of subscribers over there as there are here on Boon Builds. Um, yeah, cool. Boon, are you part of the land? I am. I am part of the LAN as of July. I applied back in February or maybe January. Um, I just applied and I was like, I don't know if I'm going to get this or not. Uh, I don't really know what the criteria is. I think it's it's really it's, it's based on a lot of different things. And I applied in January and I think every late spring, early summer is when they really start looking at those applications. And they told me uh, my birthday was on July 9th. And I got an email on July 10th that says, hey, we'd love to uh, welcome you to the land. So, yeah, I am. I am part of the land. Eric Hansen says, what's the land? It is the Lego Ambassador Network. So, I Boone Builds is actually a recognized Lego fan media 
outlet. So I have just a little bit of like kind of a relationship with the Lego uh, fan engagement department. Um, they don't they don't really tell me what to do. Um, there, it's pretty loose. Uh, it's and it's the same thing. If you have a lug, a Lego user group in your town, it's the same department that handles those relationships. So, like here in Portland, we have the Portland Lego user group, and the Portland Port Lug is a recognized Lego user group. Boone Builds is the same. Um, so, you know, they'll they'll reach out to me. That's that's part of the reason that sometimes I say like, um, I don't know about a lot of stuff in advance. And when I do, I'm not allowed to talk about it until you know about it until, until everyone else, until the world knows about it. Um, that's part of the stipulation of being on the land, but they all, they all offer a lot of opportunities and, and it's kind of a cool thing to, to be part of. So Eric says, dude, sweet. Congrats. Thank you very much. Thank you, Eric. Appreciate that. All right, folks. I do. I, it is one, two, three, five. We just missed my favorite time. It happens twice a day. One, two, three, four. I think it is time to say goodnight. You all are so awesome. Thank you all so much for being here. Please, please pop on over to the uh, to the Magic School Bus. You can get there by going to ideas.lego.com and just searching for the Magic School Bus. And I'm just barely going to not show you the number because we'll do that update tomorrow. But here is the Magic School Bus. And all of my live streams right now are brought to you by my current Lego Ideas project, the Magic School Bus. I need your support, and I need you to share it with your friends. There's no other way we're going to get to the 10,000 um, because, uh, you know, I don't know. I don't know what to say about it. I just, we're, we're going to get there. We're going to, I got some awesome things in store. Hope to be doing some updates very soon on that. You are all wonderful. I couldn't do any of this without you. I mean that sincerely. Uh, it is no longer Halloween. We started, when we started this live stream, one hour and 21 minutes ago, it was still Halloween. And I had no idea that I would be here with you all for this long. Eric, thanks you for being here. Jacob, thank you for being here. Aqua Mike, always love it. Uh, Axton, thank you for being here. J uh, Tracy, thank you. Jake Sadovich, thank you, my man. You are an incredible inspiration to me. Cody, thank you for being here. Nap3, uh, April was here. Molly was here. I'm not sure who is still with us. Cowboy Carnado. Thank you all so much. Uh, Yali, you're awesome. Whew. It's November, people. Here we go. Another month. Another month. Another big pile of Lego. Until next time, go build something amazing. This is Boone Builds. You're all great. Mm -hmm.